Captain's Log, Summer 2022. DIY day, unknown at this point. My journey to create a sustainable green life in the backyard continues. The path to completion has wavered, but optimism remains high. My current emotions, unclear. Sanity, perhaps questionable. I am sitting in a bathtub wearing a mustache, after all. It just felt right. But besides this, I remain motivated as the finish line feels in sight. Can I grow a vegetable in my backyard? Too soon to tell. <laughs> Hi DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny. Today's DIY in progress is part three of my summer greenhouse diary, a series all about my journey to create a beautiful Pinterest inspired greenhouse in my backyard. Now this project has been split up into multiple episodes because it is my goal to make sure I bring you an honest look at what it takes for me to create my dream greenhouse. It is a big project and I just don't want any of you guys to miss a thing. So welcome to part three. If you are new here, hello. Hello. Welcome to my DOI channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join this amazing creative beast community. Please go check out episode one and two first. I have linked the entire playlist in my description box. At the end of part two, we had a fully roofed structure with mostly all the antique windows installed and the vintage inspired bathtub had been placed inside. But by the end of this video, I feel like there is going to be a lot of payoff. So with that said, let's get into it, editor. Punch it. Roll the tape. Boop. Good morning, DOA friends. It has been a minute. A few things have happened since the last greenhouse video. Jeff and I are still working at the windows every night that he gets home from work, we'll put up one more window. But in that meantime, I did finish a little bit in the front here. So let me show you. I managed to kind of like level this out a little bit more. Um, I tamped it down. I added this landscape fabric down because I'm gonna be adding this pea gravel. And then I got these cute little stepping stones. Check this out. Now we can be like, so now this little area has to get filled in with the pea gravel and then we're going to be building these little side gardens that are going to live on each side of the garden house so it's just basically like a little box and then that box is going to get filled in with some better soil and then we can actually plant some beautiful flowers in there my mom is actually coming to join me this week she needed to get away and do some gardening some healing so she's going to be joining me and i figured i might as well wait for my mom to get here when it comes to what I should plant and what I should garden because she has a way better sense as you guys know if you are returning to this channel. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for her. Basically you've seen me wheelbarrow a bunch of dirt and now you get to see me wheelbarrow a bunch of pea gravel. We love it. We love it. Are you gonna help for once? Let's go move some pea gravel. afraid but I put shorts on and my legs are quite reflective right now my legs are the same color as my hair right now I'm sure it's not that noticeable but we have a pebbled ground now the goal is to regrow all the grass that goes there so that there'll be a nice grass line right up to the pebble so Jeffrey has a little bit of time before he goes to work today so he thought we could do some windows together and I'm not gonna say no to that so I actually we're gonna try to get this little section right here finished up and then once he's gone I'm gonna start building the bed so it was a window of opportunity and I'm taking it <laughs> We have more windows, woohoo! We 
we are so close to finishing. I'm so excited. So I want to get started on the garden beds now. I'm going to be using pressure treated boards, but you need to be careful because you don't want them to rot out over time. So I am going to be putting a vapor barrier plastic sheeting all on the inside around it just to give it a little extra security when you put the soil in. So let's get cutting the measuring. I'm just going to keep leveling things out, make sure that I'm digging down if I need to. It all always works out somehow, right? Beyond the necessary boards I needed for the bed, I had to create support posts that would allow me to connect all my boards together. So I was using scrap two by two cedar boards I had kicking around and measured a foot past the width of the board. From there, I cut the ends into a sharp kind of vampire killing stake. That way I could hammer the extra foot I measured on the post down into the ground with ease. <laughs> Another struggle I ended up facing was just keeping everything square to my greenhouse. The land was very sloped, so I had to pay attention and kind of just trust my level more than my eye for this. The entire time I was checking my level and I kept thinking, how on earth is this level? But in the same way that Obi-Wan said to Luke, you must trust in the force, I chose trust the level. Your eyes can deceive you, don't trust them. And it was a good thing I did because because uh, it was correct. And by the end of it, we did have two level flower beds and that's all we can ask for. I am in absolute shock on how long that took me. <laughs> it's done and it's level, which makes me happy. But let me show you what it looks like now with both little garden beds on each side. So there we go. There's the two little garden beds on each side. And then imagine like just like some lavender and some like pretty flowers coming out on each side. I think that's gonna be lovely. And then I was gonna do the plastic sheeting in the two garden beds on the inside today, but I'm exhausted. Uh, that took so much out of me. It's the sun too that just drains you. So I might as well just do it tomorrow and I feel very dirty and gross. Like, can we just see my knees right now? Oh yeah, look at that. It's not good. So I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna go feed Pup Pup. We'll get back at it tomorrow. Starting with some plastic sheeting. Woohoo! and we've already achieved hot mess standards. <laughs> So today I actually have Jeff home and he's going to be helping me install the two front windows and then we're going to start on these pieces up here. I have some plexiglass that's going to go here and here just to close up those weird triangle shapes. Very excited. Got to start this day. So uh, let's start this day. I had Jess with me for the day to help in any way I needed around the greenhouse. That's very kind of her. I made a move jerk. <laughs> Listen, don't give me that. I can see your face. I did my time. You saw me move the dirt. Not a bad friend. Like I mentioned in part two, my greenhouse was given a new name, Vincenza's Garden, as my tribute to my recently passed stepfather who meant the world to me and my family. I couldn't think of a better way to honor his memory than this. This window was made by Vince and my mom, so it just meant a lot that I could put this into the greenhouse and let it be a shining element that will be front and center for everyone to see. I just loved it. To fill in the triangular areas on either side of this window, we were using half inch clear acrylic sheeting that I've had for such a long time. Jeff wanted me to get rid of it so many times, but who gets the last laugh now? <laughs> Yeah. 
To cut the acrylic without cracking, we did need to use a special blade on the circular saw. This blade was a bit used, as you can see, but it is designed specifically to cut into plastic and metal. Placing the acrylic sheet into the grass, I used a chalk eraser marker and I started marking out all of our cut lines. But then something bad happened, and from this angle, you can see it already starting. I should have been holding the weight of that acrylic, but I wasn't and it snapped. This is just a sign of not paying attention to the details. It happens, but it still sucks. However, this was a happy accident and I will explain why in a few minutes. So being more careful, we cut another piece and it turned out great, exactly how we wanted it to. And then Jeffrey being the wonderful, brilliant engineer that he is, he came up with a plan to add a bar in the middle of the frame, which allowed us to use our broken piece. And then all we had to do was just kind of add a decorative bar on the other one to match it and it all looked purposeful, a total design element that we meant to do. Now, while all this went down, Jess was very busy behind the scenes, finally cleaning all the windows. Honestly, it was shocking how good it looked without dust and dirt on them. And then at that point, Jeff had to leave. So we decided tackling the front windows was a great project to finish our day. And that's what we did. a brand new day. My mom came down to visit and she's got her two poochies with her, Murdoch and Smokey. There's Murdoch and there's Smokey. But Jeff did something wonderful this morning. He finished off the top. Look at this. Look how good it looks. So exciting. It's there and it looks fantastic. So mom and I just went and did some shopping. We're gonna be working on the two little gardens on each side, the little garden beds that I made up this week. We went and bought some flowers to put into the garden beds. Let me show you because it's such a cute little scene. Look how cute that looks. Ah! Oh, my trucks never look so good in my life. Basically, the idea for the garden beds was to have one side, the sunnier side, it'd be the side for planting annuals. For this, I had a vision for sunflowers from the beginning. So when I saw these mini sunflowers for sale at my local grocery shop, I was so happy. I literally put all eight of those sunflower plants in a shopping cart, rolled them into a grocery store to check them out. It was literally one of the most ridiculous sights to see and if you don't believe me this was me in a grocery store people were walking by me going wow what a nice garden you have there and I'm like thank you it will be the other side was the perennial side also known as the flowers that would last season to season and could take a little shade the shade the shade wow. of it all so I had a bunch of hydrangeas that were gifted to me from my dad so it was nice to finally put them in their final resting spot they are so beautiful and I honestly I can't wait for these to bloom in their prime it's so adorable well, this is like the very first time I'm seeing greener around the greenhouse and it just feels so good. Now, mom and I were talking. She's got a better vision for this stuff than I do, but <laughs> we're thinking of adding a little brick kind of median around the front pebble area just to keep the pebbles in and maybe some bigger planters that are gonna sit on the two fronts under the windows there. So we're gonna go pick some of that up tomorrow and then we're also gonna get some mulch and mulch around kind of the garden area. Either way, I'm gonna go shower. I'm Trey today. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. feels really good today. Mom has taken charge on all of the gardening. Now that we got the main plants planted yesterday, this morning we went to our local hardware store and we got going on some bricks that are gonna create that outer wall. So we got these bad boys. 
um, which are gonna be so great to kind of create like a nice little retaining wall. And then come in here. So Jeffrey and I are starting on this section up here. We got the solar powered fan that's gonna be built into this. And then we have our remaining windows that are gonna get built up. So I just feel so ready to be done the building portion of this. Like I just wanna get inside and start all the nooks and crannies and all the designing and the painting and all the fun stuff that I love to do as a DIYer, like the building portion. I want it done. <laughs> so I'm really excited for today. We just gotta power through, so let's do it. This was such a perfect day because having my mom there helping me garden and build this greenhouse into something so beautiful. Seeing her there doing what she loves, that's what Vince would have wanted. It was just perfect. I'm not gonna lie, Jeff and I really didn't have a plan for that last upper section, but we got so lucky because we were able to use all the leftover offcuts from the clear acrylic to fill in the small gaps around the window and the solar fan. If you remember me explaining this in episode two, was a fan that we were placing in there to help air circulation so that the plants don't fry from the heat. See how it's just starting up? It's cause once you put it in the sun, when it's in full sun, it goes. Thank you. Love it. This is was right up his alley. Boy, we better get a glass of wine and toast <laughs> to Vince. To Vincennes, my love. <laughs> I can't believe how far we've come. This greenhouse finally felt like it took on a spirit of its own. The love and hard work put into it completely transformed this DIY space from the ground up and I could not have been more proud of it. I couldn't have gotten this far without the support from my family, my friends, who all put a piece of themselves into this space. I think in a way this greenhouse was here for us at a time in our lives when we needed to heal and perhaps it represented presented something a little different to each of us, but it feels like a space filled with love. Thank you so much for watching part three of my greenhouse transformation. This space, it is a dream come true, but it's not over yet. So if you are not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next week, I finally get to tackle the inside, adding in all of that character, DIY decor and storage elements. <sighs> I can't wait. I honestly, I can't wait. Huge thank you to my dad, my mom, Jeffrey and Jess for all of your work to make this dream come true. And of course, to all of my patrons, my DIY family who have been a part of this journey the entire way through. Thank you for your continued love and support. If you wanna check out my Patreon, it is linked down below. I am so excited for the final episode. So stick with me, my friends, we're almost there. But in the meantime, stay positive, stay creative and keep on the out. Bye-bye.